Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on failure to thrive. The definition of failure to thrive. Infant or child that physical growth significantly lower than peers. Or growth below third or fifth centile. Or change of growth crossed two major percentiles. Associated with poor developmental and cognitive function. Most patients present before three years of age. Males and females are equally affected. For history taking. Obtain a detailed dietary history, the food diary over several days. What the diet consists of. How often the infant is fed. Is child well with lots of energy or child have other symptoms, such as diarrhea, vomiting, and others. Inadequate caloric absorption due to vomiting, diarrhea, and malabsorption. Growth of other family members and any illnesses in the family. Any psychosocial problem at home. The clinical features include. Failure to meet expected age norms for weight. Alopecia. Loss of subcutaneous fat. Reduced muscle mass. Quashiorcor and marasmus and delay in social and speech development. These are the causes of failure to thrive. Failure of parents to offer adequate calories, due to inadequate availability of food, psychosocial deprivation, neglect or child abuse. Failure of child to take adequate calories, due to impaired sucking or swallowing, chronic illness causing anorexia. And failure of child to retain adequate calories, due to vomiting, severe GERD, malabsorption, or other syndromic conditions. For investigations, Full blood count and differential count. Renal profile and electrolytes to look for renal conditions or metabolic disorders. Liver and thyroid function tests. CRP to look for inflammation or infection. Immunoglobulin, urine tests, stool cultures to rule out parasite infections. IgA antibodies for celiac disease. Cardiotyping for Turner syndrome. And chest x-ray and sweat test to rule out cystic fibrosis. For its management. For infants and toddlers that don't require any investigations and can be managed in primary care, by increasing energy intake by dietary and behavior modification, and monitoring growth. For older infant which have psychosocial failure to thrive. Meal time in 20 to 30 minutes, solid foods before liquids, intake of water, juice, soda, low calorie beverages need to be limited. Take high calories food like peanut butter, whole milk, and dried fruits. There are some indication for hospitalization, such as severe malnutrition, lack of catch-up growth, and for evaluation of parent-child feeding interaction. The goal is to obtain sustained catch-up growth, more than 30 grams per day for the first week of infant. And maximal postnatal brain growth occurs in the first six months of life. That's all for this video. Thank you.